also have two new polish racks in here that I want to set up. But I think, I don't know, I'm thinking about going to Michael's. <laughs> Welcome back to another studio vlog on my channel. It has been a long time since I filmed one of these. Uh, I'm not starting out fresh like first thing in the morning filming this vlog. It's actually, yeah, it's just about 11 o'clock. Uh, my main thing that I wanted to get done today was film like a giant haul video. There's some things from Amazon, some things from the Nail Throne, uh, some planner things. But as a result, my nail studio is now like a huge mess. The first thing that I need to do though is like get that video up because I do want to get that posted today. So then we are going to sit down and clean up this huge mess of stuff that needs to go away. I also have two new polish racks in here that I want to set up and um, display over here as well. So we're going to do that today too, hopefully. If there's time, I do have a couple collections here that I would like to get filmed. Um, at least one of these to get filmed today. I do have a couple like shopping errands that I wouldn't mind running as well, but I do have another work day tomorrow. So whatever I don't get done today, I'm going to get done tomorrow. But right now we're moving to the computer because I have a lot of things I need to get done on the computer today. I wanna bring all of like my planner stuff over to First thing I need to do is some like admin stuff, like super boring stuff. <laughs> but I've got like emails to respond to and that sort of thing. So I'm gonna spend some time doing that. I also, the first thing I like to do when I first get on my computer, to have computer time, is respond to comments on YouTube. I haven't had a video go up in a few days though, so I shouldn't have too many comments. Usually I get the majority of my comments the first day that my videos go up. my new planner so if you guys watch my Amazon haul this is uh, a monthly planner from Erin Condren and I want this to keep track of new releases that happen with uh, the different brands that I like show on my channel uh, so mostly it's Coco and Clarence CJS that I keep track of in here because they have launches basically every single week and then uh, I do put in like fusion or light elegance or like magic gel if they have launches too but they're not as consistent while well, they are consistent but it's not as often I guess so <laughs> and I do still use my kit life here for like my daily to do's mostly for my personal life but I have like I have a huge list of to do's to try and get done in the next two days in the studio, so I am just going to use it for that. Hey everyone, it is the next day. <laughs> I spent a lot of time editing that video that I was sharing, that I was telling you guys that I was going to edit. And then by the time it was all done and like just basically uploaded and stuff, I had to go pick the girls up. So there wasn't really anything else to share yesterday. But I think, I don't know, I'm thinking about going to Michael's. <laughs> My one friend shared that they have this like mini tall furniture there. Oh my God, it's so random. And I kind of want to go see what they have. I was just looking on the app and there's really not that much in stock in my store. So I'm not too sure if it's even worth going, but a couple of the items that I know are in stock didn't show that they were in stock. So I'm, I don't know, I feel like there's like a discrepancy between the app and I kind of just want to go see. I also want to see if they have new paper pads. Um, but it's just like this cute little like dollhouse furniture and uh, my friend who sent me some pictures like they had like a really cute rug and they had like cute lamps they had like a blanket ladder I don't know just this like most ridiculous stuff but um, what I do with like the doll furniture that we have is my girls play with like little peg people or they play with like little wooden dolls and such. The dollhouse furniture that you guys would have seen in my shopping video, I set it up in like our big cube that we have because we don't have a dollhouse. 
but I'm like okay with not having a little dollhouse because I like the idea of it being in a big cube like that so that they can move it around however they want. Um, it's been functioning really well so I wouldn't mind getting like a few pieces um, for that when they want to set up like a dollhouse but and it has so many cute little things like I just I can't. They have what I wanted there. Well, sort of. The lady said they're going to be getting more dollhouse furniture, but I did pick up a couple pieces. Um, we already have like a bed and stuff, so I just grabbed like a little blanket for the bed. I grabbed this like rainbow rug. Look at how cute that is. How cute is that? Um, I also grabbed a picnic table. They also had like a little patio that I'm kind of kicking myself for not getting. Um, a little pink rug. A little pink bath mat this like little garland and a little basket reading the tags to see what else is coming and it sounds like there oh my gosh there's so many cute things this is gonna be a bad situation but i try and get things that i know the girls would like to set up or like interact with with their little peg people and such so those i think will be really good pieces okay so two new paper pads I'll do a flip through when we get home, but this is the Avenue one and then what is Sage Park. So two kind of floral neutral paper pads um, and that was it. I'm just trying to decide now if I want to go to Value Village. I like to look at Value Village for um, like sometimes they have like wooden toys and such that are like a good price or books. I get a lot of books for the girls there um, or like wooden dishes that I use for setting up like sensory activities and such. So. But I'm actually thinking the girls are getting a mud kitchen soon and I think that's where I want to get a lot of their stuff for the mud kitchen for. I, th I don't think I'm going to go to Value Village today. So let's go home and get some freaking work done. <laughs> so if you are watching my Shop With Me video, this furniture here is the one from Walmart. Um, this is from a company called Magic Toys. That's not the one from Walmart, but the colorful ones are. And then this down here is Plan Toys. So it's a lot more neutral. But this is like the dollhouse thing that we do and then on top Rose is set up like she said this is a playset and then we've got like a little park back there. I'm just gonna add some of these to it <laughs> so it's all ready for them when they get home. How cute is that little bedroom? Then I just added that little rug up here and a little basket in the living room. Bath mat in the bathroom and then a little picnic table on top. Oh my god these are so cute. It's about quarter to 11. I am home now. I did some just some boring computer stuff but I'm going to tidy up the nail studio from filming that Amazon haul yesterday uh, and I want to set up my polish racks and just kind of tidy things up and then hopefully I'll have enough time to film another video. And then this is the mess that I left myself yesterday. All of this to kind of tidy up here and I should show you guys um, the flip through of those paper pads from when we were out and about too. this one the best there's a lot of 
with marble prints. Love all the greenery in it. I don't really have any paper pads that have a lot of, oh my gosh, where is it? Like these type of greenery, which I'm really looking forward to using. And then this one is another one. This one I was kind of on the fence about because, I don't know, I'll get some use out of it, but some of like, I'll show you, like these ones I'm not too sure if I would use. There's some good florals in here though. And then they had a lemon one that uh, was cute, but again, I just don't think there was as many that I would use. This one I would use more in it than the lemon one, but those are the two paper pads from Michael's today. These polish wraps are incredibly annoying to set up. So that way I have all the Coco and Clara gel polishes to here. And then um, this gap here is a new collection that's coming. And then I have my glitter balls, glitters over here. They just look so pretty, like displayed. <laughs> I wanted to make room for them up there. My shop with me video. I got this from HomeSense and originally I was going to put it over here, but it's too wide. Like it just kind of looks funny over there. <laughs> Moved it on here and I'm, I'm kind of liking how that looks, but the nice thing about like floral embellishments like this is they're just versatile. You can move them wherever you're feeling like. And now we're gonna do a little bit of desk shuffling. Um, I'm trying to decide where I want things. This I thought looked good here just like height wise, but it functions better on my right hand side because I'm right handed. So I think I'm gonna move this over here. And then this polish rack that I just took all the Glitter Bells glitters out of, I'm going to put here with all of my new stuff. I think that'll be the best way to fix up this space. I'm gonna move my brush holder over here and then I think I'm gonna put my little coasters in there. We'll see, this thing usually ends up coming off of, like off of my cart when I'm actually using it and working, but these are my most used items on top and I just wanna keep it nice and handy. And then I moved my little ring thing here because it was in the cart and it's super, super annoying to kind of pull everything out. And then we'll just have this little stand for here for now. I don't know, that might look kind of cute up there too though. We'll see. I was just thinking, I think this is gonna work really well for new releases that come out. For example, Ellie Stepper released their, their Easter plates last week. And I think this is gonna work really well to display the stuff that gets released that week so that I remember to talk about it on Instagram and that I have it all ready to go. What is that in here? I'll put things in here too, because these are all new. That's gonna work really well. This will remind me about the new things that are coming out uh, or like what's on lineup to film, which is what I wanna do right after this. I think the time is in. Oh yeah, it's only one o'clock. I'm totally gonna to film this today. It's not the prettiest display, but like for function wise, I think it's gonna be great. Um, these just need to be put away somewhere. It's all updated. Desk. And then over here, a few different changes over here. I don't know if I talked about this in a vlog. I talked about it on Instagram, <laughs> but my uh, board that was here, if you guys have kept up here for a while, you'll know that I had a gold one there. And 
I went to go erase like the month and I used acetone and completely took like the actual calendar off. So that's actually upstairs and my girls use it for like coloring on and I moved this one from our pantry in here and it seems to be functioning pretty well. I also started using uh, post-its for different videos instead of actually writing the videos, that way I can move them around too. Little girls, my girls little nook, I should probably rotate some of the toys in there. I haven't really done too much since I last came on here. Oh, I edited like a TikTok and uh, like Instagram reels, that was like all I did. But I have about an hour and a half until I have to go get the girls. So I think I'm going to set up to film that magic gel video. I'm going to do it as a tutorial. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch another studio vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. I try and do these every once in a while and I try and like, there's so many times where I start a studio vlog and then it's literally just such a boring day that I don't end up doing anything with an actual studio vlog. So I'm glad we had some like actual exciting things to share with you today, but make sure you're following me on all my social media and on TikTok because I recently joined TikTok and I'm like having way too much fun with it. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.